Oh, hello, Billy. What's the matter? Oh, you want to learn how to lay paving? Well, don't worry. I can help you there. So, we want to get this to look like this. And here's how we do it. Now, there are ten steps when it comes to laying a patio. Design, capability, costings, site clearance, setting out, drainage, building up the layers, pointing and grouting, aftercare, and finally, enjoying your patio. Let's start with step one, design. Whoa, hold your horses, Billy. We need to think about design first. There. You will need to define the function of the paving. You will need to think about the size, the shape, and remember to think about steps and manholes. You will also need to think about drainage, edges, waste disposal and site access. If you are using a mixed size pack, what pattern will you use? Step 2. Capability Are you physically fit to do all the digging, lifting and carrying? Do you have the tools required? You will also need to consider time scale. As a rough guide, it will take around about 8 weekends assuming weather stays nice. Step 3. Costings Easy there, Billy. We first need to do costings. Remember to factor in labour, plant hire, materials and waste disposal. Step 4. Site clearance. Get rid of any vegetation and remove all rubbish. Step 5. Setting out. The use of taut string lines will aid you in lining up and levelling. Remember to have a gap of at the most 10 metres. If you still have sag, try 5 metres. Remember to check you are straight using a builder's square. Well done, Billy. It's time to dig. You will need to dig deep enough to allow for the sub-base mortar and slabs. Step 6. Drainage You will need to make sure your patio slopes away from the house. This will prevent water from pooling by the walls. You can do this by setting out pegs and using a spirit level to check the fall is going the right way. Getting this right is crucial, so take your time, Billy. Step 7. Build up the layers once you are happy with the subgrade, place a geotextile down to separate the subgrade from the subbase. Next, it's time for the subbase. Remember to check your levels as you go along. That seems a bit too much like hard work, hey Billy? Ah, a whacker plate, that's better. Add in some sharp sand to blind off the subbase. Now it's time for the bedding layer. A mix of six part sand to one part cement is a good ratio. For medium or heavy duty driveways, concrete will be needed. <laughs> no Billy, your mother-in-law does not count. Once you have put the bedding down, you can lay your slabs. It is worth noting that you should be using the rough side of the granite as the walking surface. Remember, do not do 5 spot bedding as this can cause a multitude of problems later on. Also, applying an SBR resin to the mortar and the back of the slabs is recommended to help protect the slabs against staining. Step 8. Pointing and grouting. Remember to wait 24 hours before attempting the pointing to make sure the slabs have had time to set. First go round and rake out the joints, making sure there is a nice gap to put the mortar in. Wet the joints, then leave for 5 minutes. The mix needs to be fairly dry so it does not stain the slabs. Work it along the joints and make sure it's tightly compacted. Step 9. Aftercare. We recommend sealing the slabs to protect them from staining. To seal the slabs, start by making sure to clean any residue with lithofin cleaner, for instance. Then leave to dry. Once dry, apply the sealant Stain Stop W. Remember to follow the instructions on the bottle and to test it out on a small piece to begin with. Regardless of whether you sealed the patio or not, it is advisable to wash it once every six months to keep in a good order. Let's just recap on the most important things to remember. Don't rush. Have a good plan. Avoid dot dabbing. Make sure you have a suitable drainage area. And make sure to add the SBR resin. When it comes to laying a patio, don't be a silly Billy. Be a smart, um, Billy. And now, finally, step 10. Enjoy your patio. For a more in-depth guide, check out the link in the descriptions. Got a paving project that you are proud of? Why not send us a picture? Thank you.